Look, bro, I've made all the same excuses that you have made as well. Oh yeah, I'm just naturally meant to be skinny forever. Oh, I eat all this food and it goes right through me. I never actually gain any weight. Nah, 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 nah. You blame your genetics? Bro, I've been there. I've made all the excuses. Yeah, why should I even work out? Because I don't even actually build muscle anyway. I did that too. I've made all these excuses just like you, but I sit here before you today with a nice physique. Not to toot my own horn, but I have built a good physique. I have built muscle as a skinny guy. So let me tell you how I destroyed all those limiting beliefs, how I destroyed all those excuses and finally actually built some freaking muscle. Part one is your diet. And this is gonna be the most important thing, all right? This is the most important thing to building muscle as a skinny guy. You need to be eating in a caloric surplus. So what does that mean? That means you're eating more calories than you are burning. So imagine you're a pretty active guy, you're skinny, you have a high metabolism. So imagine you eat X amount of calories, but you also burn X amount of calories. You're not gonna gain weight. You have to eat more than what you burn. That extra surplus right there is what allows you to put on the weight. If you say you're eating enough calories, but you're not gaining weight, then you're really not eating enough calories. Chances are you're eating a fuck ton of food, but you're also burning a lot of calories because you're an active kid. Or maybe you're not an active kid, but it's still true. If you eat enough calories, you will gain weight. It's as simple as that. So the first thing I want you to do, step one of this video is to find out the amount of calories you need to actually eat to gain weight. Your caloric intake, there are two ways to do that. I'm gonna link an online calculator for you to find that. You put in your height, you put in your weight, you put in your age, you put in your activity level, and then it will give you three numbers. The first number is the number of calories you need to eat to maintain your body weight. The second number is gonna be the number of calories you need to eat to gain weight. That's your caloric surplus. And the third number, don't even worry about it. Unless you're a fat guy watching this video, then this is the number you want, is the number of calories you need to eat if you want to lose weight. The second way you can do this is by just downloading the, the app called MyFitnessPal. I've talked about it before. It's a free app. You can do the same thing and it'll give you the amount of calories you need to eat to gain weight. Assuming you put in the right stats. Be honest with how much activity you're doing. If you're a very active guy, put that in because you're gonna have to eat more if you're an active guy, you are. So before we move on, there's a difference between a slight surplus, a moderate surplus, and a large surplus, all right? The slight surplus, is going to be you gain less weight per week or per day or whatever you wanna look at it. It doesn't matter, but you can do a slight surplus. That's honestly what I recommend. Instead of putting on a bunch of weight quickly, you actually just gradually over time put on weight. That's what I recommend. And I think these online calculators will give you just a slight caloric surplus, which is what you wanna target and focus on anyway. If you happen to eat more than that number of calories, then hey, that's great because now you're gonna be gaining weight faster. So with your diet, there are two key things that you need to focus on to actually gain weight. The first is to hit that target number of calories that it wants you to hit to gain weight. You need to consistently hit that calorie number every single day to see results. If you have a day where, oh, you uh, miss a meal, fine. But consistently over time, make sure you're hitting that number. And over time, that number is gonna keep going up and up and up as you gain weight you'll have to eat more. So hit the calorie number. Number two is to eat one gram of protein per one pound of body weight to build some muscle. Those are the two things you wanna focus on. That's it. Hit the calorie number and eat enough protein. One gram of protein per one pound of body weight. Honestly, I have seen recently that you only need 0.8 grams of protein per one pound of body weight. So if you're in that range of 0.8 to one gram per pound of body weight, then you'll be all right, bro you will build muscle and gain weight. But now let me go through some frequently asked questions because I know you have a lot of questions and I'm gonna answer all of them right now. The first question, should I do a dirty bulk or a clean bulk? If you don't know what this is, a dirty bulk is basically eating cookies, candy, ice cream, pizza, eating whatever the fuck you want to get your calorie number. A clean bulk is eating cleaner foods. You wanna know what my answer is? Somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle. Don't overcomplicate it because I know how hard it is to eat completely clean foods to get to that calorie number. So if you need to eat a little bit of junk food to get to that number, by all means do it. At the same time, it depends on what your goal is. Is your goal right now only to build muscle? If it is, then sacrifice your health for a little bit and eat some shit food so that you can get your protein and calories in. Obviously the cleaner you eat, the better because it's just better for your overall health 
but I understand how hard it is to gain weight as a skinny guy, so you might have to sacrifice your health for the time being to eat some shit food to actually hit your calorie goal. That's okay, bro. That is okay. Over time, you will start to learn more and more about what foods you can eat that are cleaner, but right now, don't overthink it. That's your problem is you're overthinking too much. Now, this leads me to my next question is, well, Matt, how do I track my calories? you use the same app that I just told you to download, which is MyFitnessPal. This app makes it so easy to just track your calories. You can literally search up any food you want. The brand even, sometimes it has the brand. You have to estimate sometimes, but that's okay. If you underestimate, then it'll be better because then you'll eat more calories than what you're supposed to eat, leading to more muscle gain and more weight gain, which is what your goal is as a skinny guy. Now, the other thing is you don't need a scale. It's not necessary. I never even use a scale. I probably should, but you can switch the kind of like unit of whatever food you're eating. Like if you are eating potatoes, instead of weighing the potatoes, no, you can just switch the unit to, oh, two potatoes, two medium sized potatoes. If you're eating peanut butter, instead of weighing out grams, you can literally just measure tablespoons. We all have spoons in our house. You don't need a scale to track your calories. You don't. My Fitness Pal is the app that you want to use to track your calories. And if you don't track your calories, good luck, bro. You're never going to make it. Sorry. Good luck. The people that actually track their calories and are disciplined enough to do this are the ones who actually see consistent weight gain. Just saying. Once I started tracking my calories, that's when I got consistent with my progress and started to fucking step on the scale and see that number increase. And look in the mirror and say, well, shit, I'm not as skinny as I was last week or the week before. So track your calories, it's important. So by now you have that calorie goal of how much you need to eat to actually gain weight. What I want you to do is today or tomorrow or whenever is to track your calories for that day based on what you normally eat and just see where it is. Is it way lower than that calorie goal number? Chances are it is and chances are that's why you're not gaining weight. It's because it's lower than the number that you need to actually hit. So you can now adjust accordingly. You get that benchmark on day one Day two, you now realize, damn, I need to eat more. And here's a quick tip to actually get more calories in. Supplement with liquid calories. You can have a protein shake every single day. Look up protein shake recipes. My favorite one to do is whole milk, a little bit of ice, protein powder, peanut butter, throw a banana in there, maybe some Greek yogurt. Six ingredients right there for a fucking high calorie protein shake like Probably, I think it's like 600, 700 calories. 700 extra calories where you just drink it. It's a lot easier to drink your calories than it is to eat 700 calories at the end of the day. But this is gonna take some experimentation, all right? It's not easy. It's gonna take some trial and error of, oh damn, today I failed because I, I thought I ate enough, but really, at the end of the day, when I tracked it all out, it didn't come close to that number. So you have to find foods that are more calorie dense. So Matt, what foods should I eat? Well, after you have your liquid calories, if you have one protein shake a day, that should be a good start. Your other meals, well, maybe your mom makes you dinner, maybe you eat lunch at school, whatever it is. The other things you should probably be eating are as much meat as possible, even though it's not that high in calories, but it's that's where your protein comes from. Cause remember you gotta get that 0.8 grams to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You can also eat pasta, you can eat eggs, you can eat peanut butter, cheese, those kinds of things. And eat a fucking cheeseburger if you have to. Eat a fucking pizza if you have to. Bro, just get your calories in and start gaining weight. I want you to start actually building muscle and gaining weight. So if you have to do a little bit of a dirty bulk, that's okay. The last question is how often should I weigh myself? I would say every day. If you have the mental kind of, if you're not a pussy, weigh yourself every day and just see if you're actually gaining weight. You need to be tracking your progress. That's one way to do it, is to literally step on the scale and see if it's going up. And there will be days where you actually fluctuate, it's just because your water weight and all that, but over time, over the next week, two weeks, month, you should start seeing that scale increase if you've been hitting your calorie goal. But now let's move on to part two, which is training. So the two key things to focus on when training is to train each muscle one time per week minimum. And the second thing, is to progressively overload. So really quick, progressively overloading, what does that mean? That means to increase the weight over time or increase the reps for my guys that work out in their room or do calisthenics. Increase the reps, increase the sets, increase the amount of weight you're doing. You don't have to overcomplicate it, but that's basically what it is. And if you're training each muscle group at least once a week, 
you will build muscle. So you might be thinking, all right, Matt, well, what routine should I do? You can do whatever you want, but I recommend you do a push-pull leg split. This is the most popular one for a reason because it fucking works. But you could literally do a full body workout if you want, three times a week. At that point, you're hitting every muscle group three times a week, which is fine. Push-pull legs, you're hitting every muscle group two times per week. Or at the very minimum, you could literally just do the bro split where you do one muscle group per day. And that's hitting the minimum of one time per week training each muscle group. Whatever you wanna do, like I said, I recommend push-pull legs because it's the best. So now you might be thinking, all right, Matt, can I build muscle at home? Can I just do calisthenics? Of course you can, bro, of course you can. Push-ups, pull-ups, squats, dips. Those four exercises, bro, that's it. That's it. If you're also hitting your calorie goal every day, you're gonna build muscle along with your protein goal, you're gonna build muscle. I recommend hitting the weights though. You'll build more muscle if you actually hit the weights. That's just a fact. Next question is how to track your progress. Well, there are two ways. <laughs> Literally, you can write down in a notebook, oh yeah, every single workout you do, that's what I do. I write it down in a notebook. It helps me see all the weights I'm doing right now. It helps me see all the reps I hit, all the sets I hit, every exercise, every muscle group. That's one way to track. The other way to track is to download an app. I will link an app in the description for you. I'll find a free one where you can literally track every single workout and every single set. If you're not doing this, it's the same as tracking your calories. If you're not tracking your workouts, you won't know how to progressively overload because you're not gonna remember every single workout that you hit. You're not gonna remember every single weight that you did. The guys who actually track their progress, meaning track their calories and track their workouts are the ones who are gonna make the most progress. So I hope that's you, bro. Like I said, I'll link an app in the description, but you could also do it old fashioned like myself and write it down in a notebook. I get it, that's kind of cringy. You don't wanna be in the gym. You don't wanna be that guy who has the notebook. I get it, so I'll link that app for you. And uh, yeah, download it after this video so that you can get going with tracking your progress. Now let's move on to part three, which is your mindset, all right? This is going to take a long time. It takes, it's hard work to change your flesh. It's hard work to build muscle. It's a slow process. Consistency is key. Because guess what? These next two years are gonna pass anyway. So do you want to start taking action now? Get consistent now? So that two years from now, you will actually have a good physique? Or do you wanna keep sitting on your ass, just doing nothing, and then two years from now, you're still a skinny piece of shit? It's your choice. But just recognize that it's a slow process. It's a slow grind. So, at the same time, you wanna fall in love with the process. At first, it's gonna suck. You know what, you're gonna, your brain's gonna say, don't do it. Your brain's gonna say, uh, you can just be skinny for the rest of your life. It's not a big deal. I, uh, a girl will like me for who I am. Fuck that, bro, fuck that. Don't just think about the end goal. Because if you do, you'll never actually make it there. No, you have to fall in love with the daily grind. You have to actually start to enjoy tracking your calories. Enjoy working out. If you can't get yourself to that point, then fucking lie to yourself. Tell yourself you fucking love it. That's what you gotta do to build muscle, bro. That's what you gotta do to stop being skinny is to literally just lie to your brain. Your brain doesn't serve you, so lie to yourself and say, I love this. Next thing I'll say is to learn as you go. Like, there's only so much I can tell you about what kind of workouts, what kind of routines to do in this video. But if you learn as you go, if you learn better form, better workout routines, better diet, if you learn as you go, that's important. Okay, you don't wanna stay the same as when you first started, no. Every time I learned something new with working out, I implemented it. Two last tips that I'll give you. One, sleep more. When you're sleeping, that is when your muscles are recovering, repairing, and getting bigger. So if you're sleeping four hours a night, you're fucking yourself and you're fucking your gains. You're not actually gonna make any gains. So sleep more, sleep more, sleep more. It's so important to actually get the right amount of sleep that your body needs, especially if you're working out and training hard. You need to. The second thing I'll say is to retain your seed. Yes, you will build muscle faster if you are retaining your seed. Your energy is higher, so you're able to push out more reps which leads to more muscle growth. So those are just two little tricks to get the maximum amount of gains possible for you. Now, just to recap this video, okay? There are five things you need to do. If you didn't write these down yet, write them down now. Number one is to consistently eat in a caloric surplus, which you already know that number because you aren't a bitch and you actually took action at the beginning of this video. Number two is to eat 0.8 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight, 
Write these things down, bro. Write these things down. Come on. Number three is to train each muscle group at least once a week. One time per week is the minimum. Number four is to progressively overload. And lastly, number five is to track your calories and to actually track your workouts because those who do both, those who are disciplined enough to do both, will build the most muscle and make the most progress. Hope you just wrote those five things down because those are the key to actually building muscle and putting on weight as a skinny guy. Consistently do those things and you will see results. Don't come crying to me and make bullshit excuses in the comments because chances are you're neglecting one of those things. If you do all five of those things, you will build muscle and you will gain weight. And lastly, remember that it takes time. Be patient, but fall in love with the process. Get addicted to building that sexy physique that you so badly want. I did, now it's your turn. You can do it, bro. I believe in you. Hope this video helped. If you wanna join our Brotherhood Discord, there's a link in the description for you to do that. Get closer to me, get closer to the brothers, and uh, we will help you on your path of building that sexy aesthetic physique. Like the video if you want, comment if you want, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.